All right, very good. Jared, you're up. All right, hey Zach. Um, I asked um, I asked Coach about this a little bit earlier about the unique position you're in, where uh, you're playing a, a position where a bunch of guys who have been high first round draft picks have all gone to the NFL and made a career for themselves and made a, you know, a huge impression on Ohio State, and you're now stepping into that as the next guy. And he gave a very interesting answer about trying to manage that and and uh, those expectations, the pressure that comes with that. How do you as the player view that responsibility stepping into that role, but also trying to be yourself and the best version of yourself? I mean, yeah, those those guys who came before me, they're, they're a bunch of great players. And, and uh, like you said, there's a lot of expectations for me to do, you know, so-and-so numbers and so-and-so. And, -so. and, and honestly, I don't really try to think about that every day of practice. I try to go out, you know, get better, work on my technique. And, and also, it's not just one person coming up next year. There's, there's a whole unit of guys who, who got something to prove. So we're all going to, you know, come out in the first game. We're just going to, you know, so we've been working on. Next up, Bill Rabinowitz with the Columbus Dispatch and Stephen Means on deck. Bill? Hi, Zach. Uh, how much of an honor was it to be named to that Big Ten anti-hate, anti-racism coalition? And what was involved with that? Uh, how important was that? Is that to you? Uh, that's huge. That's huge. That's something that's really important to me, you know, not just being more than a football player. I want to make a change. You know, I want to, I want to do some of this platform and, and that, that gave me the opportunity to do so. Um, we've, you know, we've got together a few times and we just basically talked and, and talked about things that we can do better in, in each individual campus and, and, and stuff like that to, to really keep the ball rolling on, on these kind of issues. Were you, were you surprised that it's only a sophomore that you were named to something like that? Um, I mean, it definitely was an honor. You know, I'm really, I'm really honored to be there. And but, I'm not really sure age really has anything to do with it. It's just kind of, you know, who, who they chose. Thanks. Thanks, Zach. Next up, Stephen Means with Cleveland.com, and hey, Tony Gerben on deck. Stephen. Hey, Zach. So Larry Johnson was talking about how the rotation this year might be a little similar to what it was in 2017 because there's just so much depth on the defensive end this year. As the guy who took the most snaps of anybody not named Chase Young you know, on the defensive ends last year, what do you think some of the benefits are of having a deep rotation like that and then some of the cons, of maybe if there are any? Um, the benefits of keep guys fresh, you know. You put me in the game, you can put Coop in the game, Vontae, all, all, the, all the other ends, all the D linemen, you can put all of them in the game. And, and there's not going to be a drop off. So let's say I, I play a few plays, I get tired. I, I feel like I can go hard those plays because I know the guy coming in right after me is going to have no drop off, going to go just as hard. He's going to go hard for his plays and boom, right back in the game. So it's just going to keep us all fresh and keep us all, all all ready to play as fast as we can when we can when we're in the game. Next up, Tony Gerdman with Buckeye Scoop and Austin Ward on deck. Tony? Hey, Zach, how difficult is it to master the little things when it comes to the, the just the the various thing Larry various things Larry Johnson wants you guys to be able to do with your hands, your feet, all of those minor details. Um and yeah, it's it's a challenge, you know, because Jay pushes me every day at practice like hard. He, he's on me every day, you know, hands gotta be up, all this you know, technique stuff and, and it's something that you gotta consciously think about every day and and to, to get better at it. So when he does hit the field it just becomes automatic. So just just hard work and then him staying on me and me focusing on it, that's what, what basically did it right there. Next up, uh, Austin Ward, Letterman Rowe, and Nathan Barrett on deck. Austin? Zach, when you look back at your, at your freshman season, we all know how high the expectations are for somebody with your recruiting rankings, but it's still a different thing to try and produce as a freshman. When you look at it now, did you exceed what you expected for yourself? Did it surprise you at all, or how do you look at, at – Evaluate year one. Um, you know, I did a lot of good things my freshman year. Uh, you know, I started a few games, uh, had a few sacks, a few tackles, but there's always room to improve, and that's and that's something. We looking back on the tape from last year, it's like I, there's so many things I could have, I could have done better, and that's what I'm focusing on most of this year is to really improve on the things that that last year were, were not as strong in my game. Next up, Nathan Baird with Cleveland.com and Bill Landis on deck. Nathan? 
Hey, Zach, you know, considering the expectations and how much the, the expectations you got for yourself to, to, to be better this year, what were you doing during that kind of long protracted time where you couldn't practice as a team? What were you doing individually to try to help yourself have the, the kind of sophomore jump that, that you want to have? You know, I was, I was just working out where I could, um, trying to find a field and get some field work, just doing the drills that, you know, Coach Jay had taught us in my freshman year and do some of those drills on my own just to try and, you know, work on my craft. Because I know there's, it, it was hard. There's not a lot of, no team activities and you weren't with the guys and there wasn't really any structure or coaches. So you had to kind of push yourself. And, and I feel like that's, that's something that I did. I just I try to work on my craft outside of the building. Where, where'd you find a field? You're talking about just, when you say a field, you mean like at a school or are you talking about like a pasture? Any, any kind of, anywhere, you know, backyard, anywhere, anywhere there's grass, I get some work in, I was going there. Last couple questions for Zach. Uh, first, Bill Landis with The Athletic and Patrick Murphy on deck. Bill? Zach, when, when you look back at last year, um, some of the things you were just talking about to improve, what, what are one or two things maybe that are, that are front of mind for you that you'd like to improve on this year? Um, uh, my pass rush is one of the big ones and um, really just my consistency in my play, you know, not having ups and downs and just constantly playing at a high level. What, what specifically with the, with the pass rush? I know there's a lot that goes into that and we know you're an explosive guy. You're obviously really long. Mm -hmm. um, what what are some of like the, the finer points I guess of the pass rush that you're focusing on? Um, like I said, honestly, all of it just got to get my hands, feet, hips. Those are the, those are the key things of a pass rusher, and I got to get really sharp in all those skills. And final questions for Zach come from Patrick Murphy with Twenty Four Seven Sports. Patrick, hey Zach, um, you obviously played with Chase last year. Coop's back. You mentioned this is a this is a unit. I'm curious how much you take from other guys. You know, you're obviously a talented kid, but still one of the younger guys. How much are you taking from from guys that have been here, guys that are still here each and every day? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a give and take. You know, that's what we do at practice. We all uh, coach each other up. So like, I'll go, I'll go a rep, and then and then all the other ends or coach me up on what I could have did better, or somebody else will do a rep. Like Tyler will get a rep, Tyreek will get a rep, Coop will get a rep, and I'm I'm looking at them thinking, okay, what things can they improve on? I just know if they get better, I'm gonna have more success. And if I get better, they're going to have more success. And that's kind of how we view it. We're all just in this together. And we're all trying to, you know, improve each other as much as we can. Because it's really just, we got love for each other. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Appreciate it. Awesome. Zach, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Have a great, great afternoon. And a